Moses, a local rugby team, doing pretty well and moving on to a provincial level now. Yep, uh, I guess, well, it's the time of year where you're starting to see a lot of sports wind down. This is one of the final sports, the sport of rugby. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, Lloyd Comp entering the provincials, like we just mentioned. Now, it may not gather the attention as other high school sports receive, but in its fourth year, the Lloyd Comp Barons rugby team has steadily improved, and for its third straight year, the Barons are headed to provincials. We've played a number of uh, exhibition and friendly games, and uh, we're just building for provincials, and we want to come away with some wins. The Barons gain entry to Provincials by automatic berth due to Fort McMurray no longer having a rugby team, but the Barons still find top competition to play against to keep them in form. Ashburn, for example, finished second place in Saskatchewan, and we played them four times this year. Um, you know, Cold Lake is going Provincials, and we played them a couple times. So we're, uh, you know, we do have some stiff competition in the area. The Barons will see some tough teams like the Edmonton schools who pose a real challenge for the defense. Our toughest uh, aspect will be defending against wide play. Um, we've got a really strong group of forwards. We're less experienced in the backs, and so what we're going to need to to make those wins is to really have our backs um, play above their uh, expectations or play above, uh, you know, to overachieve, especially in defense. Now, it was not just business for the Barons. Dalen Adamson uh, getting hit by water balloon by his coach, just having some fun. Uh, while they're playing too as well. Dalen has been to Provincials before and has some wisdom for the younger guys. Be tough. Don't be, don't fear anything. Just hit someone, get the ball, run with it, do what you have to do. Don't, no fear. Along with Dalen, the Barons have the services of grade 12 student Tanner Sakowicz after battling some serious injuries during the year. Went down for a ruck and got kneed in the ribs, uh, fractured two ribs, bruised one. Continued playing the rest of the game. And you didn't bandage him up at all, you still kept going? No, I still kept going, never stopped. Yeah, how are they feeling now? Uh, they're a little sore, but they're recovering pretty fast. That's one tough kid. Meanwhile, the Lloyd Minster Juniors have been the surprise team of the North Saskatchewan River Baseball League. Winners of their first five contests, they look to make it a perfect 6-for-6 six six as they entertain the North Battleford Beavers. The Juniors were trailing 4-3 in the third. Brett Kostaski sends one to left. The outfielder can't pick up the wet ball, giving Cole Kostaski a chance to score from second, 4-4. Four, four. Next batter, maybe Travis Cush. His grounder would sneak past the infield, letting Ryan Fector score from second and look at that hustle coming to home they would take the one run lead but the beavers would take the lead for good in the fifth brad aishan with a base hit up the middle two runs coming to score six to five for the beavers they would go on to win it by a score of eight to five it started out kind of poor because the weather was kind of terrible it was drizzling and whatnot but i mean that's no excuse but we didn't play with a whole lot of intensity today uh, Wheatland have, or the Wheatland Extreme have enjoyed recent success going 3-1 and one in their last four games. They look to continue their winning ways against the winless Wainwright Wolf Pack. And the Wheatland Extreme improved to 4-5 and five with a 13-7 win. Their next game is this Saturday against the Grand Prairie Thrashers.